Hey everyone, I'm in Farming Simulator 22. Here I'm going to show you how to keep chickens. So what I've got here is a brand new farm. I've got the 1.5 million. Um, so if you start, it's a medium game setting. There's a couple of things I suggest you do here. Um, first of all, we need to buy some land. So we hit the menu button, um, go into this screen here, press the left stick down, and then we can select this what area with the right stick and buy it with X. Yes. Come back out. This is now our land. So. Um, one thing I want to point out about this land is it's very sloped. So you can see there's a big slope here and leveling it is a right pain. And when you're keeping chickens, what you will have is a building that has the chickens on one side where you unload uh, wheat for the chickens to eat. And on the other side, you will get eggs. So you want a nice flat piece of land to do this on. So this land over here looks a bit better. Now, I can change the sort of look of this land if I want. So this is now owned by me, so I can paint it. So um, we'll do that very quickly. So I've hit the screens button, going into construction. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go to landscaping. Uh, so I'm using the D-pad to come across, then D-pad down. Then I'm gonna go to uh, painting. And you don't have to do this, but I just think it looks a little bit better. I'm going to select the dirt and then right uh, A to hit that and then change the brush size by hitting your D-pad to the right. And I'm just going to paint this a bit. So this is going to be like chicken land, chicken land. I'm not doing it very well. I wish there was a way of doing this a little bit neater. It's a little bit, you know, like if you make a mistake, it's like, whoops, you know. But this, this area looks pretty flat to me, so I think this is a good place to put the chicken, so you'll see why in a minute. Right, so B to go out there. Now we're gonna get onto producing the chickens. So we need to go to animals. So I'm using the D-pad to come up and to animals here. Uh, and then down on the D-pad, go over to chickens. And then you've got two options, a little chicken pen. I'd just go whole hog though and get the chicken coop. It's less. You can, you can basically store a whole lot more chickens. So this one, only 30 chickens. This one, a whopping 360. Yeah, baby. And you can see what I mean now with um, the loading areas. Let's see how flat this is. Let's just zoom in. What we're ideally looking for is that the base of that building um, is nice and flat. So there's two things to bear in mind here. This side is where your eggs will get dropped off. This side is where you drop off your food for the chickens and uh, buy your chickens. So you can rotate this around. So the way I'm doing this is RB and LB on the Xbox. Uh, so I'm on the Series X here. So you can just debate where you think this is gonna be a little bit easiest to handle. I suppose it doesn't really matter that, that, that greatly, really. So apart from colliding with the player. Uh, does that look all right? I think so. So it says I can do it as soon as I've got the, the money scenario. Zoom out a bit. Um, I'm good to go. So I'm hoping as we lay that, that's all going to be good. So we'll hit A. And then we'll get a little chicken noise. And I just want to zoom in. Looks good. So nice and flat. Oh, we've got a little very slight bump there. But we've got a lot of flat area here. I think that's workable. Uh, and this side nice and flat as well. Cool. Right, so we've got a chicken coop. The next thing we need to do is fill the chicken coop up with some food and obviously some chickens as well. So to get food, I've hit the screens button. LB and uh, we're gonna go to big bag pallets. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little bit croaky this morning. Uh, go over to wheat um, and chickens can eat various different things uh, but I think this is the easiest one to get. Yeah, the wheat here. A to customize, and you can buy multiple ones of these. Uh, so if you hit the D-pad to the right, you can have as many as you want. So chickens go through a lot of feed. So what I'm gonna do just for this example is show you how to get three a big um, sort of, what do you call it? Pallets back to the farm. So we're gonna hit these and buy, yes. Okay, hit B again. And then we're gonna get a trailer. So uh, I've hit LB to come to the tools, trailers A. Uh, and actually, no, it's not a trailer, it's a low loader. So I've hit B again, uh, and then I'm coming down to low loaders. Uh, and then we just wanna pick one of these. So some of these are massive. Um, I think, hopefully we can fit them on this one. We're gonna go with this one. A for that, press A again to buy, or you could lease it if you want. 
come back out. We need something to drag it. So I'm going to use a tractor. I like a medium tractor. And I'm going to go with a John Deere. So uh, there we go. Press A. Now before you buy it, a couple of things. Uh, you can change... Oops. Narrow tires. It doesn't really... I'm just going to go with standard tires. And then I'm using the D-pad to come over to front loader. This is the most important thing. You can pick quick or hour. Um, pick whatever one you want. Um, but you've got to match the front loader that you put on. So we're going to buy that. Yep. Okay. So I'm hitting A to buy. B back. And then I'm going RB to the tools. Front loaders with the left stick. Press A. And there's various quick ones. So we can apply a quick one. I'm not quite sure the difference. I think they can basically handle more weight as we go up by the looks of things. So 520 kg. This one can go up to 760 so I'm going to hit A for that. A to buy. Yep. Okay. And then the last thing I need to get on the tools uh, is... Where's he gone? Front loader tools. And we need a pallet fork. Okay. So we get one of those. So come out here. We bought all our stuff. So it left on the D-pad to select your tractor. And then I'm left trigger to reverse. And then I'm right trigger to go forwards. And we're going to add this front loader just by driving into it. Attach. So if it won't attach, that means you either forgot to add the front loader option on your tractor or you put the wrong brand on. Okay. And we're doing the same thing now to attach this. So you can see we've got our loader there and we've also got these pallets that we've got to put onto it. Now this is the faffy bit. So left button controls the forklift and then I'm using left and right to sort of tip it up and down but it's back to front to move it up and down. And then this is the time consuming bit and this is why I think it's best to sort of buy a few of these at a time. But it is a bit of a faff. So You've got to get this nice and low. So I'm holding the LB as I move this. And then get it underneath. Whoa! <laughs> that was annoying. Let's try that again. I wish there was an easy option on the Xbox. I don't think there's any mods for this yet, which is annoying. So um, LB and then I'm just hitting left there just to sort of level it up a bit. Ah! Wah. Not quite sure what's going on here. I've somehow got it jammed funny. This might go wrong. So I'm just going to drive very slowly and see if we can get this on. So uh, I'll just use the down pad uh, on the D-pad to just zoom out a bit so we can see a little bit easy what we, what's going on here. And then I'm right stick, I'm moving around just to rotate the camera. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why this is looking so precarious. I think it's I didn't quite load it on properly, so... And this is faffy, as you can see. Your other option is not to get a low loader at all and just take one of these back at a time. And then when you've got it on here, just tilt until things stop shaking. Hopefully that's good. Might just try and nudge that into position. It is such a pain, this though. But once you've done this, this lasts for a little while, depending on how many chickens you, you end up with. Okay. Right, so that's good. I think I'll just try and shoot that just a teeny bit forwards if we can. There we go. Good. Your other option is you could use a forklift truck, but the downside of the forklift truck is it's very slow, and then you've got to somehow get it to the farm. But you might find that useful after a little while. Right, let's see if I can do this one a little bit better. I do find annoying is how they've got all these trees by the shop and then they you sort of got to try and grab your stuff with a tree in the way it's quite annoying
Ah. Okay. Can't see through the tree. <laughs> see, I thought I was down low there. a little bit better so annoying that I'm in a tree okay let's see if we can do this one a little bit better oh look I'm getting the hang of it sort of <laughs> so you do wonder whether whether there, sort of. Well, that looks like I've annoyingly put this right under the pallet. There we go. Cool. So that is right faff, as you can see. Ah! There we go. And then you gently want to load the tractor on, and there's an important thing to do before you shoot off. So we'll attach it. <clears throat> but before you shoot off hold down RB and press down on the right stick and then you see those straps are added that'll stop these pallets flying around as we drive that's very important otherwise they fly off and you've got another five minutes loading the things on again but you can see now they're pretty well secured so as we go back to the farm all is well it's a lot of work getting the chicken set up but once they're set up they're pretty easy. So chickens can eat a variety of different stuff, but the wheat seems to be the easiest thing to buy. Um, you could, of course, start growing wheat on your farm, harvest it, and then use that to feed the chickens. Um, but obviously in this example, that's a bit hard because I'm just starting off and harvesting a field takes a little while. So if you're not sure how to harvest a field, I've got another tutorial on that. So off we go back to our farm. And you can see time-wise at the minute, I've got this set at just five speed, which is the default. <laughs> Crop damage is on, so I don't really care because I'm just using this as an example. But that's something you can turn off if you find that annoying. Obviously, you shouldn't really drive like that. Now, I don't know whether it will just pull this straight off the tractor. That would be very nice if it did, but it may not. Let's see. Oh, it will. Beautiful. Oh, that's really cool. I thought I was going to have to unload them off the trailer. So this is now filling up. Um, are we good? So we've got many more. Can you hold more? Yeah. Can, so you just got to move forward to the uh, sort of pallet that you want to l unload. So this is filling up the the chicken feed. All is good, and it's eighty five percent full now. There we go. So our tractor, that's something we're going to have to do regularly uh, for the chickens, but now we need the actual chickens. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've hit X to come off of the uh, tractor. And then we come over to our chicken coop. And when you're here, press down on the left stick to open the animal dialog. There's a few different things you can do here. There are two different types of chickens. And the difference is this chicken is six months old. And the point about these chickens is that they are ready to breed. So as you add these to your farm, as long as there's a rooster in there, you should start adding more chickens over time. Now, they're 10 times the cost of these chickens, which will take a little while to actually grow. Um, so it's up to you which ones you, you go for. So we could get a mix of them and just see how they go. Um, but it's fairly easy to speed through time and get these chickens up to scratch. So maybe we'll do that just to begin with. So we hit A and then it'll say how many chickens do you want? Do you want three? I'm just gonna up this by I'm moving the left stick to the right and you can buy 60 at a time. I could have moved left actually and gone under zero and then it would have gone to 60. So when you're at 60, just prove it goes back to there. Hit X to buy. Don't wanna buy 60 animals, yes. And then you could do the same again. Select X to buy, yes. Oh no, 
<laughs> I was on the wrong thing. Sorry, let's do that again. X to buy. Yes. Okay. What was that? I didn't I didn't think I'd gone over there. Weird. So make sure you highlight it on the left when you down do it again. A to select. X to buy. Yes. Okay. And then, so you can see on our right, the farm now has 120 chickens. So that's what I must have done. I must have went to the right there. And it's very similar. So it's very easy to get confused on here. So we hit A again. X to buy. Yes. Okay. Okay, I've got to flick left first before I do it. A, yes to buy, uh, X to buy, yes. So I've got 240 chickens now. Uh, I'm gonna add a, a rooster. I'm not sure how many roosters or whether it makes even a difference. So that's a lot of chickens. So I don't know, how many how many chickens should a rooster have? <laughs> Something I've got to look up. I don't, uh, well, from my test before, it didn't seem to do a great deal of difference. So I'm just gonna chuck a bunch of roosters in there. Maybe you should only have one rooster, I don't know. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments. That'd be good to know. Right, so we'll do this one. X to buy. Right, so we've got a lot of chickens there. Um, so 315. What I might add is just a couple of older chickens just to see how quick breeding occurs. So we'll go to these ones and I'll just add, say, 10 of these. X to buy. Yes. Okay. So these chickens now, you can see these ones that we bought are worth nothing if we sell them, which is annoying because I wasted a load of money by buying 60 chickens and selling them for nothing. This one's worth 10. So you can see initially they're not worth anything compared to what we sold them for, uh, what we purchased them for. So we obviously make a loss to begin with. All right, so we've got our chickens. They're going bark, 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 as we can hear, which is cool. Um, and then it's a waiting game, but a waiting game is a lot easier if you do one thing, which is build yourself a farmhouse, because then you can speed through time when it comes to the evening. So I will get time just speeding up by hitting the menu button. There's an auto save on, so whenever you go here, it'll often auto save. And then I'm using the right button to go down to our game settings. And then here, time scout, I can speed that up. I'm gonna whip that up to 360 for this example. Uh, and you'll see, look at the clock, it really starts banging through. So we're gonna build a little farmhouse here just to um, sleep in. So I've gone to the, what the heck did I hit there, the screens button. Gonna go down to construction with the right stick, uh, right button, sorry, construction with A. And then I can go down to, using the D-pad to go down and then I'm moving over to farmhouses. And then I can do one for 20,000 or 150,000. I'll go for the 150,000. I'm zooming out with the left trigger, right button to um, rotate this around. And then I'm gonna plant plant this. <laughs> I'm gonna plant a farmhouse. I'm gonna place the farmhouse here. And the reason why, excuse me, why I'm doing that is when it becomes after five o'clock, you can use that to sleep through to the next morning. So you can see at 360 speed, things are going very, very fast. Um, so it won't be long until I can sleep. I'm also going to give you another little tip, which is how to light up your farm uh, at night time. So I will show you that in just a sec, uh, because that can be quite annoying uh, when it goes dark, which it will do soon. Here it comes. So we could just sleep straight through, but I just thought I'll just show you this, this little tip when it gets dark enough. Come on, come on. Right, so you can see now it's becoming pretty dark on the farm and I cannot see what I'm doing now, look at that. So if we go to the screens button again, go to construction and then use your D-pad to go over to decoration and then down to lights. And there are a variety of lights and if you wanna see the impact of the lights, uh, just go down to each light and then hit A to begin with. So at the minute I'm, I'm highlighted over medium floodlight and you can see that has quite a big impact on the farm. So if you hit B again and go to the big one, this one has an even bigger impact. So you can rotate this with left button and right button and then just stick it wherever you think makes sense for lighting your farm. So if I put a whack in big floodlight there and press A to place it, I can now see in the dark, which is cool. Put another one there. So now we're no longer 
working in the dark. Beautiful. Right, so I've hit B's come out of there, and I said we were going to go and sleep. So you could just let it fast forward, but you can see it's so nice that I can actually see now in the night. So we're just going to go over to here, and this is how you would fast forward through the night. So come here, press the left stick down, press A to sleep. Okay, so let's go and see how our chicken's doing. I've hit the right button here on my tractor. And I'm just going to detach the trailer because I don't need that for the minute. And what we want to do is drive over here. And look at that, we got some eggs already. Cool. So the eggs will gradually build up. So if we jump out the tractor, let's see what's going on. So first of all, there's our little old chickens. Bark, 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 bark. They do actually move around sometimes. I'm not quite sure why they're all gone to sleep, I suppose, because it's early in the morning, is it? Maybe they'll start clucking around in a minute. So let's just check on our food, 1,300 litres. So they are munching through that food. So <laughs> you can see we're going to need to get some more food soon. But if we have a little look in here, open the dialogue with the left stick, and... <clears throat> Have a little look at our chickens. One thing that confuses me is that I can't see anywhere I can see how many of each of these chickens I've got. The only way I can seem to do it is if I hit the sell button. But you can see their value has gone up. So these are now worth five, which is what I paid for them. The rooster's still not back up to value, but the, the, this one is half the value. But they're now seven months old. But as they go, um, things will grow up. Now, I totally forgot to look at how many I owned um and where that's gone up so we're now on three two five so we'll have a little look again in a minute and see how they go but what about the chicken eggs what do we do with those well you can sell them at a variety of different areas if you want to see where you can sell um, what i'm going to do is just slow this down a minute whoops just so we can see what's going on uh we'll go to real time so left button up, so I went into the menu button to see this, but here, if we go up to prices, you should find eggs. Oops. Where are the eggs? There they are. And this shows you where you can sell them for and how much money. So everybody's paying similar amounts at the minute. So the fast food restaurant is the nearest one that you can get. If you want to see where it is, you can hit A to tag the place. But I know where it is, so I'm just going to drive there. So when you're ready to sell your eggs, you can hit, jump on your uh, forklift. And then I will attempt to do this a little bit better. And you can see why this is important, that this is flatter over here, just to make loading that a little bit easier. So if you leave the eggs, what will happen is they will gradually um, increase over time the amount of eggs that you've got being produced. Um, but what you can do... If you want to sell them, as soon as there is a bit of a pallet there, you can grab the pallet. Whoa. I think there is still a little bit of a hill here. Annoying. Definitely a bit of a hill. I can't see it though. Ah, it's me being Nana with the pallet. <laughs> There's no hill. It's my pallet was too low. Something to watch out for. All right. So when we're ready to get the pallet, just, ah, it's so annoying this. I wish you could just, and as far as I'm aware, you can't without a mod, and I don't think there's such a mod on the Xbox. Uh, it would be great if you could just drive a trailer up and they were auto-loaded, but I don't think you can yet. So when you've got your pallet, you can drive off. Now the fast food restaurant is literally 30 seconds up here. Whoa, <laughs> that was close. If you ever do that and your tractor tips and you cannot get it back over, have a little look at my other videos. I've got one how to reset vehicles, uh, which is quite useful. But this is the fast food restaurant. So we just drive here. And as soon as you're hovering over the unload point, uh, the eggs will be sold. So they will have 639, just those few eggs. So that quick, we started earning money with our chickens. Um, now we do need to go and get some more food, so we'll go and get that trailer and go and get a few more bits of food. Because the other thing I want to show you is um, how the chicken, how you sell your chickens as they increase. So the chickens were at three, two, five, weren't they? So we're just going to get a bit more food, and then we will see. We'll fast forward time again 
um, and see how our chickens are breeding just to see how, how that value goes up over time because that's the other way you make money with chickens is selling off the chickens as you go. Another option you can do if you want, um, I don't know if you saw when I bought the chickens there was a transport fee so you can either go and pick up the chickens yourself by using a trader and going to the animal market um, and that saves you a little bit of money and if you're going to really get into chickens that might be worth your time um, but in my case I can't be bothered so <laughs> um, that's uh, one thing you can do so I've just noticed the straps are on here so I'm just going to unfasten them ready for the next thing so I held down RB as I was driving there I'm driving with the right trigger uh, to drive along um, but we'll unfasten those ready for more chicken feed so you can see this is the time consuming bit as far as I can see there's not a, a simple way of getting these um, you know to order on your farm that would be cool but if you were harvesting your own stuff and then you put a silo on then you could load up uh, quite easily from your farm um, as, as part of your workflow I'm going to show you one other thing as well when we've got the chickens which is another place where you can sell stuff so when we're at the shop hit the screens icon and we're going to go to the food big bag of pallets wheat and we'll get three again so obviously the more chickens you get the more um, food you're gonna need ah so when we're here to attach the trailer and then we'll load these up let's see if I get any better around here this time Slightly better, maybe. Maybe he's improved just... Ah! Pfft. That's the other thing I find funny about here is the... The physics is... um, It's good. But you're like, oh, for goodness sake. You know, sometimes you go, oh, it's just taken me ages to load that and I've just messed it up. Go on, go on, go on, go on. So I suppose I could... Tilt it up a little bit like that, just to do this. So I'm controlling the um, pallet fork with the left button held down and then the right stick to move things around. <laughs> I'm just sort of trying to because I've loaded the pallet at a funny angle, I'm just trying to um, nudge the trailer a bit so it matches. Oops. There we go. But you can see it's a little bit intensive, this, because of how often you need to get food for the chickens. So having a field and a massive trailer full of grain might be a better way of doing this. Um, so harvesting the wheat. As you can see, I'm not a master of loading. Let's see if I can nudge that a little bit. That's on a little bit better, maybe. Uh, should give me enough space for the other one. I bet some people are awesome at loading these, but me? No. Whoops. Too impatient, that's, that's my problem. There we go. So I think the chickens was 325, wasn't they? So 
now we've got this on the way we could just speed up time but you can see it's already going to be dark soon so we'll have another day where we can um, just reset things oops so we'll transport this remember hold down RB down on the right stick to strap everything on and then we're good to go so you can see given the amount of chickens we've got it's definitely worth our while um, getting this trailer so we can transport more grain at a time So back to our farm. So we want to see how much the chickens are growing in value. So you've seen how we we speed. I want to show you another thing uh, just before we finish up, which is if you can't be bothered to go to the um, fast food restaurant, you can actually add a farm shop or a supermarket to your farm, and then you can just drop the stuff off of there. So we'll build that in just a second, just to <coughs> excuse me, make the dropping of eggs that little bit easier there doesn't seem to be a great deal of price difference between the two i was hoping that you'd make more money if you've got your own farm shop but i don't think so um oh and another thing i'll show you is just how you can adjust the economy which might make your prices that little bit better as well But of course, the other thing to bear in mind is getting your own um, grain from your own field is probably going to work out a bit cheaper than buying the grain that we're doing here. So that's going to increase your profits from your chickens. Okay, so we've got that unloaded. Let's jump out. So we were on 325 chickens. Let's see what we're on now. So I'm pressing the left stick down when I'm close enough. Still 325 chickens, so no, no no breeding yet, so it takes a little while. Let's go and have a look at the eggs. So we've got more eggs there. So what I will do now is just show you how you can add a uh, little market to sell things to. So I've hit the screens icon, and if you go to construction again, and then under buildings, sorry, not buildings, production, not production, it is under buildings, okay, crackers. Where is it? No, it's under production. Sorry. Selling points. So I'm using the D-pad to go down to selling points. And then you've got two options here. You could go with the farmer's market or the supermarket. I'm not sure whether there's a difference in price. I think they can sell more stuff. But the farmer's market is fine for what we need. It's 55,000. So if we press A there, we can apply this farmer's market somewhere on the farm. And just think about where things will unload. Let's zoom out a bit. So I might want this elsewhere on the farm, but you get the idea. Which I'm just going to put it here just for this example. I would have put me right in the awkward place when I... There we go. And then what we should be able to do is just... I wonder if I can pick these up. Pick up the object. Yeah. Oh, he's tough. Drop them over here. And there we go. Made some harvest income. So there weren't many eggs there. So let's speed up time again. Uh, so I've hit the menu button here. Just going over to the time scale. And then flicking it to 360 times. And away we go. So as it's going to night time, what I'll do is I'll just skip it by coming over here. So you can see 360 times is speeding through the time really quick, but this will do it even quicker. So hold the left button to sleep. So I'm pressing down on the left stick to do that, A to sleep. So you can pick what time you want to wake up, but seven in the morning would be fine. And what we should find now is some of those adult chickens that we had should now have made some more chickens, I hope. So let's go and have a little look. Exciting times. So my f my time settings at the minute is a day is equal to a month. Um, so we should see a difference. But what you see, look, we've got more eggs have appeared overnight. Just 2,700 litres of food. So that's so important that you keep an eye on that. 
and our chickens have increased in value. And look, we've got 10 more chickens. We've got 335, now we did have 325. So you wanna keep an eye on that, um, that they, they don't fill up the farm completely to 360. So once you start to get to that level, you wanna start selling off some of your older chickens um, and just get the new ones, really. So yeah, we just come back to here, pick these up, chuck them over here. And look, we're making money from our chickens. 1183 harvest income. Look, more chicken eggs. Yeah. And obviously you could have multiple um, chicken coops. So that's possible over time. But the big thing, once you've got the speedy thing on it, is just keep an eye that your food, you have a plenty. And when you're running low, slow time right down and go and get some ASAP. Um, so to sell the chickens, you probably saw it before, but the chickens that are more interested in selling are these older chickens, so, but these are my breeding chickens. So obviously if we'd had loads of the young chickens ready to breed, then we'd have more of these to sell. But if I wanted to sell any of them, I hit A to select them and then I choose how many I want to sell. So let's just sell a couple just for an example. So I, I'm using the left stick to go up and down here. X to sell. Do I want to sell the two chickens for 45? Yes, I do. So you can see the animal fee is quite a bit for the transport fee. So you can see fee of five pounds per chicken. It's costing me 10% on each chicken. So you could, if you wanted, get a livestock trailer. So if we have a little look, so I've hit the screens button here and uh, it's animals. Let's go animals, animals. Uh, there you go. So we could tr transport our animals in this if we wanted uh, and then we'd get a better price for them. Uh, actually, that one doesn't say that does chickens. <laughs> have we got a chicken you want? Let me have a little look. What the heck do we transport chickens in? Hang on, sorry. Do, do, do. It's probably a special tool, isn't it? Animals. No, not that. Animals transport. Horses, pigs. Well, that's a good question. These don't suggest we can transport chickens. I'm saying we can get them there. Maybe we can't. Maybe you can't with chickens. Anyone knows in the comments, do let me know. That would be great. I can't see an option for chicken transport. Hmm. Would it be under anything else? I don't think so. That doesn't seem to, that just shows crops, doesn't it? Nothing for chickens. Interesting. Um, but that's it really, I think, for chickens. So hopefully that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. I've got all sorts of tutorials on Farmer Simulator 22 on my site. This one I've gone quite quite deep on just to show you some different things in action. Um, I hope it was useful. If it was, let me know in the comments. If it wasn't, let me know in the comments. Um, but even if you just say thanks, that's great because it helps other people find it and likes help that as well. So thank you so much if you do that. Have a little look on the rest of my channel. I've got all sorts of tutorials and gameplays on many different games on the Xbox. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe because I'm producing new videos regularly. I normally produce a dozen or more a week. And if you want to be kept up to date, the subscribe button will do that for you. Thanks so much.